All right, guys, UFC 227 fight picks. We're talking uh, we're talking Cub Swanson versus Hanato Moicano. Cub Swanson, a veteran of the game. He's been doing it since since we've been watching it. He's been doing it since we've been watching it. We know what type of fighter that this guy loses to. He loses to the top of the heap. And then he's with that camp. He does fight out of um, Jackson Wink. I believe that for this camp, I think he was actually training with TJ Dillashaw. So he just opened up a new gym with TJ Dillashaw, their partners. And I think it's called the training lab or something like that. So, you know, it seems like he's branching out just a little bit to kind of uh, work with some other people. But he does fight out of Jackson Wink. And the one thing that I know about the Jackson Winkle John fighters is they're all head cases. You know, they're all like have this. They're all head cases. They really are. It, and it's nothing to be said about that. If you're a head case, go to where the head cases can flourish. You know, go to where the head cases can flourish. But they got a lot of people over there with some, you know, just a few mental issues that they mental. It, they deal with mental issues in the octagon. Put it that way. You know, John Jones, he deals with those mental issues. He's great in the octagon, but you can tell that there's something that he's dealing with. There's some demons just hovering around that guy, circling him, beating the, sh- beating the shit out of him, to be honest. Um, John Jones, Holly Holm, uh, uh, Dodson, they got Mike Perry over there now, Donald Cerrone, the biggest head case of them all. Um, just so many people over there who it's the mental part of the game that usually messes them up, but their technique is great. Their technique is just on point. So that is Cub Swanson. Cub Swanson has great technique. The problem is he doesn't have any punching power. He has zero punching power, actually. So, you know, but his technique is great. He's a scrappy fighter. He's always out there moving, um, being creative in the octagon. Just he's really an exciting fighter to watch. But if he goes against the top of the heap, game over. We saw that fight with him against um, Frankie Edgar, and he didn't even throw. He actually didn't throw for real. His foot movement wasn't the same. His creativity was not the same. It was just a horrible fight. It really was. But what I can say about uh, him going up against a guy like Hanato Moicano, typically he feels confident to let his hands go. He really does. Now, let's talk about Moicano. Moicano is a newer fighter to the division, newer fighter to not the division, but to the a new fighter to the division altogether. He only has five fights in the UFC. He's four and one in the UFC. He's 12 and one altogether, but four and one in the UFC. The one fight was to um, Brian Ortega by submission, of course. And out of the fights that he's won, the four fights that he's won, he's only had one finish submission. I think that um, Renato Moicano is a great striker. I actually do like his striking style. I like that he seems to be, he's kind of like a Cub Swanson also. Great foot movement, great um, hands, feet, eight points of contact type of fighter. You know, he's just a, he knows how to mix it up. He's not just throwing one, two, one, two. He's mixing it up. But I just don't know if he can deal with Cub Swanson's pressure. You know, this fight pick, I'm actually picking Cub Swanson to take him out by decision because I don't think that he can deal with what Cub is going to bring to the table. Cub's going to be bringing all types of stuff, spinning attacks, flying attacks. You know, I just can't see him beating Cub Swanson or being prepared for a Cub Swanson and that type of pressure that comes with it. I really don't. So this fight pick is going to be for Cub Swanson for um, win by decision against Hanato Moicano. Also, this is going to be a huge step up in competition for Hanato. You know, he lost to Brian Ortega. He won a split decision against Jeremy Stevens. You know, Jeremy and Jeremy Stevens didn't really. Jer- if Jeremy Stevens would have beat um, Jose Aldo, people would have started saying, OK, this guy has changed. He's a better fighter now. He's this and that. But. Jeremy Stevens is kind of the middle of the road guy, and it seemed like he was going to be heading in the direction of becoming a much more skilled, focused, mixed kind of fighter. But it's obvious that he's still on that journey. Um, Anyways, I got Cub Swanson for the win. I got Cub Swanson for the win. Let me know you guys fight picks in the comment section. Um, I might be wrong. Who knows? Hanato Moicano, the newbie, he may be coming in to just stake his claim, just like Brian Ortega, just like Brian Ortega did. So anyways, let me know, guys. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button.